My name is Rhapsody and welcome back to Slay the Spire. For the daily challenge for March the 20th of 2020, the character is the Ironclad and modifiers are draft. Oh, you know I had to play the daily as a result of that. Time dilation will let me start with the slow debuff and deadly events. Question mark rooms now contain elites, but they're also more likely to contain treasure rooms. Either way, I want to go to them. All right. So, it is draft and time dilation. Time dilation is every time you play a card, all enemies have an increase of 10% damage taken for the rest of that turn. Or rather, a debuff is applied to them at the start of the fight and it'll do that. So if they have artifact already by base, they're not gonna be uh, time delayed at all. Fire breathing is actually kind of important and interesting, just as a result of the fact that we do wanna pick up as many curses as possible. We're going to as many question mark rooms as possible, which likely means more curses. And it'll also just straight up win our fight with the uh, Sentinels. Probably shrug it off here. Card draw as well as the block. It's just And also more likely to get a collector's bonus on shrug it off than any other one there. Power through, maybe we take power through and lean into the fire breathing kind of situation. Yeah, let's try that. Body slam? Oh, a defensive deck that has... Oh, okay, yeah, give me body slam. That you don't turn down whirlwind. You just don't though. Iron wave gives us defense. War cry for draw. Seeing red maybe? Is that too much? I'm gonna try it. Another body slam. This this build will work. Uppercut. Headbutt. I just need more defense. Oh my god, another power through. Uh, true Grit versus Feel No Pain. I think we have to take the True Grit. Intimidate. Another Shrug It Off. I know there was another Body Slam there, but we'll get another Body Slam later. The Shrug It Off, we need to make sure that our defense is uh, up to snuff first. Okay. This is great. This is really, really, really good. I'm just going to pop the Uppercut back atop the deck. There we go. Power through is exactly what I was looking for there. <laughs> uh, another war cry is fine. Uh, it'll add to the time dilation debuff. I just don't want both of them in the same hand for the amount of card negativity I'll end up with. Okay. There's the body slams I was looking for. Dupe Potion, as well as another Fire Breathing. Whenever a card is exhausted, draw a card was also there. Yeah, it was a little bit of a consideration, but honestly not that much of one. Body slam, headbutt to put the body slam back on top of the deck. Just because I know I have more defense in here. No, oh, never mind. Apparently I don't. Thankfully I do just straight up have lethal. Strength potion as well as sever soul, inflame, and thunderclap. None of those actually work with this build to the point that maybe I don't take any. Closest is sever soul for the possibility of burning out some of the wounds that we get from power through. It's a little expensive for us to take right now. I think I'll turn those down. Upgrade a card. It has to be the body slams first. Through and headbutt back to the top of the deck and another body slam. Which sets off a lethal. Beautiful. Another body slam. Oh my god. Let's walk right to put a power through in the next hand so I still have power through body slam available later. Go through and then body slam. Maybe I body slam twice here with the dupe potion. I think I do actually. Best likelihood of us actually getting to full defend in this fight. 
Uh, sorry, full defend, as in uh, keep ourselves perfect through the entirety of it. Ceramic Fish, whenever you add a card to your deck, gain nine golds. It's going to be really hard to get me to turn down a card anymore. Take a burning pact there. Yeah, these are the hands that we're looking to not get at all. Lame. A little bit short on the ability to kill that frontliner there. I'm going to power through. I'm going to put a wound back atop the deck. I'm going to burn the wound in order to draw it, killing the backliner. And then true grid as well. I could do that turn. The headbutt in the next hand, we've got this. Burning Pact, another Fry Breathing. Close to a Collector's Bonus now. Gotta go for the question mark. Or the pillow, neat. Molten Egg, whenever you're an attack card to your deck, upgrade it. Uh, now would be the time to actually start picking up our Body Slams. We already have them. This whole deck wants to be upgraded, like everything in it. Power through, body slam, headbutt that body slam back to the top of the deck. Really? You need a defensive card. At least one. It's the big problem our deck has had is lack of just straight up defensive cards. Got a lot of cards that work well with them. Just not many of them in question. Another shrug it off is great. Perfect. This is the fight that I just play all of my fire breathings and then wait. I'm going to Warcry a Wound back atop the deck here. Yeah, I probably should have put Defense back atop the deck there. <laughs> Oops. 18 damage AOE at least though. Okay. Let's Warcry a Wound back atop the deck again. Then Headbutt a Dazed. Drawing that. And then killing all of them. Toy Ornithopter, so whenever you use a potion heal for 5 HP, as well as another fire breathing as our collector's bonus, so I, I kind of have to. Lug of Ulin, how many fire breathings can I set up? Fire breathing. It's war cry. Ooh, good, good, good. Power three. I'm just trying to get some wounds in the deck as well for the fire breathings. Shrug. Some fire breathing, of course. No need to intimidate there, though. Okay. Power through. We'll war cry a wound back to the top of the deck and then shrug it off in order to draw it. Two giant hits and then see how many more I draw. None. Looks like. Good. Fine. Seeing red, intimidate. Start with a headbutt. And that is just enough damage to kill. Beautiful. Shuriken, whenever you play three attacks in a single turn, gain one strength as well as Pommel Strike, Shockwave, and Sever Soul. Pommel Strike, due to the fact that I have a Shuriken and it draws two cards, is pretty appealing right now. Fine. It's another copy of Pommel Strike. There's also a Flame Barrier here that's quite good. Ability to hold two extra potions is nice. I don't think it's necessary though. Uh, Stardust combat with one artifact. I don't. I don't have anything that limits me on my side, so I could take that, or I could just ignore it. It really doesn't matter that much either way for us right now. I kind of want to take it. I kind of want to take pear and pommel strike, maybe even flame barrier. Yeah. 
have to take that instead. Palm Strike is more likely to end up with the collector's bonus anyway, so it's probably still a reasonable choice there. Um, okay. I feel like both these power throughs need to get upgraded as well. I might even want to use my flex potion in this fight. Yeah. That with the clockwork souvenir just means that I have five strength for the entirety of the fight here. I can't start using the power throughs. I need to be able to actually hit them later. I mean, strength isn't really our thing, so we can just use the other one as well, I think. Fine. Well, wind as well for an extra point of strength. Yeah, this is exactly what I didn't want. A turn where I literally just can't defend myself. Oh, well. No perfecting bosses for me. That really sucks. While we do have a very defensive deck, we are still lacking, like, a couple. Like, one defend, two defend, three defend. Not really big enough, but three, four, five, six... Seven, so we've got seven straight up and then two weakens as well. I mean, about a third of our deck. Yeah. Yeah, the, the problem is introduced with the, the sub-theming here of having status and curses and not having any of the statuses or curses. I think that's really where it's going wrong. And start on the next turn, 18 damage to all enemies, and then... Don't really have much beyond that I can do. Uh, sucks I missed out on the perfect hit, though. Nope. None of those res were that good for this build. If I saw Impervious or Barricade, maybe. But not those. We have to take Coffee Dripper. We need the extra energy. We need more Shrug It Offs and the extra energy. That's about it. I mean, obviously, like, a single copy of Entrench wouldn't go completely astray. If it wants to turn up, it is more than welcome to. Not the one I was hoping to target there, but it's okay. Can I please stop getting exactly this? Oh, no, wait. This was a an Iron Wave last time, wasn't it? Yeah. Still not good. Hmm. Shrug and then war cry. Still no? Alright. It's just trying to get down to the whirlwind there. <sighs> okay. Disarm is pretty good. Fire spirits are uh, doing what? They don't need to heal me. What do I need the least out of these cards right now? Maybe it's another war cry. They're acting as card negativity right now. It would have been fine if I had a lot more draw in the deck, but I don't. Hmm. At least I can't become frail in this fight. Okay. That, and then we body slam, and then we headbutt the body slam back to the top of the deck. We use war cry to fetch it, and then we play it again. 
Sword Boomerang only because we have a lot of strength in a couple of these fights due to the Shuriken, so it'll actually be kind of impactful on those. Gotta stop playing all the fire breathings when I'm not actually putting any wounds in my deck. I've gotta start judging, like, how long is this fight going to be? Okay, then what measures do I need to take? Again, just looking for a single defense there, but game didn't want to give it to me. Now, there are wounds in my deck, so... More than happy to play all the fire breathings. All right. Warcry is also really good for putting the fire breathings back atop the deck, so I can do it again. Take the clothesline, uh, take a clothesline there, rather. Uh, blue candle, unplayable curse cards cannot be played. Whenever you play a curse, lose one HP and exhaust a curse. I'm going to shuffle a lot of days into my deck as a result of the chosen here, so I may as well. Do pretty much anything I want, basically, at this point. Um, headbutt a power three back to the top of the deck. Never mind, we're not actually going to be able to be hexed. <laughs> well, fire breathing as a strat is still going to work. Just because of the amount of wounds I've already put in the deck. So there's no problem. Everything's fine. I may end up taking a lot more damage than I wanted to, though. There we go. Battle Trance, thank you. It's exactly what I've been looking for. Battle Trance will have a problem with the, the artifact if I use it on the first turn, but I, I needed the card anyway, so I don't really have anything else I could have done there. Um, yeah, that's not going to work. All right. Got to kill the jumps on that turn. Don't really have a choice. Oh, God, they're getting an attack again? That's rude. Uh, okay, Battle Trance isn't actually going to stop our draw this turn. Shouldn't have difficulty drawing status this turn. Yay, there we go. Fight's already over, but we've got one. Another power through pre-upgraded. I mean, it's up against the Juggernaut, but the other power through pre-upgraded, obviously. I was hoping for the curse there, but instead I got Strike Dumbing. Card containing Strike will deal three additional damage. Twin Strike is now a really good card for us. Power through, seeing red, power through. Body slam and then headbutt the body slam back to the top of the deck. Use this for the draw, body slam you. And see if I get another zero cost body slam at the top of this deck. Nope, cool. Yeah, if that's going to do it, I'll just let that do it then. Another body slam pre-upgraded. Second wind. He's also all non-attack cards in your hand. Gain seven uh, block for each card exhausted. The amount of power throughs that I have at this point means that, yeah, I think I should take the second wind. Frozen egg. Whenever, uh, whenever you add a power card to your deck, upgrade it. Okay. Start with seeing red Jace. Basically because I know I'm not making it to the next cycle of this deck. That 
gotten in pommel, and ooh, second wind. That would have been great with a uh, with a juggernaut. Gremlin Horn, whenever an enemy dies, gain an energy and draw a card. Uh, another Iron Wave, sure. Explosive will make way for the distilled chaos there, I think. Okay. Now we need to go back to just upgrading the defensive cards now that all the body slams are upgraded. Really need to find one of these body slams. What do I? Now through fire breathing, fire breathing, fire breathing. Put a wound back atop the deck. Draw. Got him. Whew. Clothesline, sure. I'm adding reasonable cards to the deck, but I am trying to still pad out to get to the total of 50. One down, and then let's headbutt right back to the top of the deck. A another body slam for this turn. Don't really care about that one. Dang. It's not really as much damage as I was hoping to do that turn. Let's go for burning on that first. There we go. Am I chosen? Okay, another second win. I mean, that was up against an iron wave, which would have been one away from collector's bonus having taken it. So boss fights, fire breathing is more important for us. Start upgrading him. I'm gonna distill chaos first. Should have done those last two in the opposite order there. <sighs> Intimidate, clothesline, disarm, and then true grid as well. Bye, whirlwinds. Oh, don't take all the fire breathings. I need those for breathing fire. Let's power through. Headbutt the power through back to the top of the deck. Pommel strike in order to draw it. Power through. My breathing power through. Seeing red power through. Uh, let's go for a body slam there. Body slam right there as well. Oh, now we're in the new deck and then all these wounds aren't in there. Oh, game. It's my bad. It's still game. Why won't you take responsibility for it? Okay, I may be able to full defend this turn with a duplication potion. I'm going to dupe this. I'm looking to try and draw, great, a power through. That's it. That's enough. Possibly the worst cards to burn out of the deck at that point, but needed my draw and other stuff. Uh, offering is nice, but the rest of those aren't that big, so I don't think I need any of them. Look, if I can't perfect anymore, maybe I like Runic Pyramid. I will never get the wounds out of my hand. I, I literally can't take Runic Pyramid. I play regularly more than six cards in a single turn, so I'm gonna play the Runic Dome. I guess I don't really care about perfecting anymore. 
But to be fair, after not perfecting the first boss, I don't really care about perfecting anyway. Don't have that many opportunities left to do it. It's a whirlwind. So five, fifty percent more damage means it'll be seven, seven, eight, no. There we go. Ooh, another whirlwind, and this one's pre-upgraded. I do have two energy relics, which means you don't turn down that. Upgrade all cards you can only heal. I'm very tempted. 999 gold for two normality is a problem, but also, like, I have no curses in the deck so far. So, one of the big things I was taking these fire breathings for was curses, and I got none. None. Usually, by this point of the game, you'll have three, maybe four. Zero. Which is obviously not helping. I'm gonna upgrade all cards, though. I already can't heal at rest sites with the coffee dripper, so it's just stopping my burning blood. Get uppercut out of there. Upgrade two random skills. Yeah, too late. Maybe I take Flame Barrier and Havoc and then upgrade two random skills. Love Potion seems nice. Is there, a, there is a guaranteed shop at the very end of this floor. Maybe I save my money for that. Flame Barrier does seem nice though. I'll take Flame Barrier, sure. Whenever a card is exhausted, draw one card. You know what? That's pre-upgraded as well. I'll take that. We're only 10 max HP above where we started, so I need to be 15 max HP above where I started in order to get a certain achievement. So I'll take that as well. And move on. Main barrier, body slam, headbutt the body slam back to the top of the deck and then draw. This is something I've been really looking forward to. Turns where I will be able to use the same headbutt multiple times because I have another draw in the deck. Uh, armaments is entirely unnecessary at this point. I don't think I can afford to take that. Smith to upgrade the only card in the deck that needs it. I'll rest after this fight as well. <laughs> I can brace power through. Let's headbutt back to the top of the deck. The power through. Because the enemy could be attacking for 45 this turn, and I wouldn't know. Just in case they are. Nope, but they could be attacking 45 this turn. It's impossible to know. I kind of just have to block for 45 every turn in case. And I'm short. And they did the 45 that turn. How dare they? <laughs> I would have been so fine without that. Centennial Puzzle, the first time you lose HP each combat, draw three cards. Take another copy of the card that I already have. Right, I can't actually do anything at those rest sites. Fine. Anchor, start each combat with 10 block. Huge pickup for a body slam kind of deck. Gives you block on the turn that oftentimes you won't have it because you're still doing your setup. Perfect. So I managed to get a big hit there. So the overkill, a hit that does more than 99 damage. Yeah. 
I'm just wondering if it's even possible for me to still get a good score with the modifiers that are left available to me after I can't perfect. That said, score considerations aren't really making all of the decisions right now, so I'm not sure I need to actually worry about that at all. Okay, pommel. And go. Bottled Lightning upon pick up Juice's skills. Start each combat without any opening hands. Take another clothesline. Bottled Lightning. I kind of just want to get the Battle Trance in our opening hands. Power through, power through, body slam. 70 damage isn't something to turn your nose up at. Turns out it's pretty significant, actually. Might be statue potions always appear in combat rewards as well as uh, power through. I can't take that corrosion. We're, we're already locked into paupers. Uh, single curse, but it's in my opening hand. I don't need a curse in my opening hand at this point. I just lowered my max HP below the 15 that I need as well. Let's go Dark Embrace on Burning Pacts. Fire breathing. Can put power through to the next. At the moment, it looks like I'm just going to be setting up for the next. Uh... Oh, never mind. With whirlwind, we can we can stop doing it like that. Yeah, it looked like I was just going to be setting up for the next draw. I didn't really want to end up doing that. Another disarm, sure. Shop where suddenly I have to purchase 12 cards if I want to have enough. Not gonna happen though. Uh, 5, 10, 15. Wait. 5, 10, 15, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Yeah, I can't get enough relics either. Fine. In lack of getting any of those, I'm going to take both of these plated armors. And inability to become frail. Whether or not that would even be inflicted on me in the next fight doesn't really matter. Nothing could have really happened there for our score anyway. Let's put a body slam back atop the deck, I think. Using Whirlwind right now. I'm going to Dark Embrace and power through. This is all just because I want to get all of my setup in this fight. For the second phase of this fight in particular, I think that's going to be important. Let's draw on this turn. My breathing power through. Definitely go for it to Psalm. Clothesline for the weekend as well. We should be able to keep ourselves kind of immaculate in this fight. Yeah, yeah if they can't even break through that, they're going to have a lot of difficulty with, you know, more serious. Shrug. I was really hoping I was going to get the other power through that turn. Wait, no, the other fire breathing. Did I? Hang on. No? No? What's the... Where's the kaboom? I was expecting a lot more kaboom there. Oh my gosh. 
Rest of the deck, rest of the deck isn't just wounds. We've only gone past two. Okay, that's kind of, well, three. That's kind of more fair, I guess. Weak in the enemy. We should be fine still. All right. Draw and perfect. Fire, Brothen. 1265. Fine. Uh, two perfects, six champions, librarian. So just squeaked in on that. No curses, obviously. Pauper. Uh, two copies of Collector. I think we could have gotten one more. Mystery Machine. We got exactly enough in order to get that. We got light speed. Honestly, I feel pretty good about it. Uh, just if we perfected the first boss, we would have a hundred more. Yeah. The scores are this separated though, because like it's literally an hour after the daily came out. So the scores aren't really that competitive so far. For the moment, my name has been Rhapsody. The name of the game has been Slay the Spire. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves and hopefully we'll see you next time.